It helps a lot when you have a hot, humid day in order to carry a baseball father. Now, the baseball may be the game for the boys of summer, but the start of the baseball season can bring snow and big temperature swings and even the threat for severe weather. So let's bring out our very own stadium and break down the science behind weather and America's pastime. So let's assume we have calm winds and start with a warm, humid day. Temperatures near 90, dew point, it's a sticky 70 degrees. So we're talking about a summer game, right? A big swing of the bat and the baseball travels 350 feet. Now imagine if a cold front pushed through and the temperatures are closer to 40 degrees with low humidity. The same crack of the bat under these conditions now result in a ball that travels about 15 feet less than warm, humid conditions. Of course, that's the difference between an out or a grand slam. Now, in both these scenarios, we are assuming the exact same swing, and we know the gravity is acting on the ball. Now, the force that is different in the colder scenario is the drag. We're talking about the air friction the ball encounters in its flight that is slowing it down. The drier air is, is more dense, and so the particles are closer together, so there's more drag on the ball. And it's no wonder more runs are scored in MLB games when temperatures are warmer and air is less dense and it's kind of going out like that. To help hitters out in the cold scenario, we want to add some wind. Okay, so now we go towards center field. We have a steady five mile power wind that carries the ball more than 30 feet farther, making for more home runs in this case. That's pretty obvious, right? Good news for the hitter, bad news for the pitcher, and hopefully good news for your team.